everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay and this is Life with Lindsay. A few boring housekeeping tips before we get into it. If you hear a noise directly to my left, I do run a fan. It is hot in here. I am on the third floor. Um, it's also a really nice day out today. What? If you hear tiny human noises, against better judgment, I have decided to record this during her nap time. And she is not sleeping, nor is she sleeping. So you may hear her singing, babbling, telling stories in the background. Um, I do apologize if that is something that uh, you can't get past. Um, it happens here on my channel because I am a mom and I record during the times that she's supposed to be napping. Um, she does keep saying over and over again that she should be napping, so hopefully she heeds her own advice. So, this will be a whip and chat for the Old Shoe House from Diamond Art Club. This canvas is absolutely stunning. It is absolutely massive. And I have to rig my station in a very awkward angle. So, hopefully, everything works out for you guys on your end. Um, I will say, um, I am waiting for a phone call from our daughter's GI doctor, which I will talk about. Um... So if that does happen in the middle of my call, because, you know, Murphy's Law, um, I'm going to have to pause and either quick recap or come back to it. So before I get into all of the goodness that is this canvas to do a whip and chat, I do want to say, I can't speak for all canvases, but my particular canvas, and as I've seen online, a few other people's canvases came with a misprint. I got two bags of drills that appeared to be the exact same color. Um, and I will put a photo up. It's not a great photo, so it probably won't help you much in terms of lighting. Um, but as you can see, this one says 985, which is not a DMC code. And this one says 895. Now, I did contact the uh, Diamond Art Club directly, and I let them know the situation. And it was more so to find out, was this kit supposed to have two of this size bag of this color because this color as you can see does belong in the uh canvas so i got that in the mail today um if you did not know they have an oops guarantee I'll try to be quick about this and they will send you replacement drills um you just let them know sorry i'm multitasking off camera and it does say replacement diamonds on the packing slip so I've never actually gotten replacement drills I've never needed to but that's one thing that's the great customer service with Diamond Art Club honestly I just told them my order number and the SKU number which is at the bottom of your canvas and they sent me the amount that I would need to replace so I can't tell. It's so hard when things are just a shade different or a hair different to tell. Um, but they look pretty similar. I can't tell if they look exact. So, they told me I could toss this one. I wanted to wait before I did anything about it. Um, and then these ones will actually go... I'll put them in my drill container. So, how is everybody's day going? Um, currently, while I'm filming this, this is October 15th. It will not be going up today because another video went up today. But, um, today is actually Spirit Day, which if you're wondering what that is, it is a day for people to stand in solidarity against bullying the LGBTQ youth. Um, and I will leave the link down below for GLAD. Um, but they have an online pledge that you can take to vow to take a stand against bullying. So, if you saw me on Instagram on this day wearing a lot of purple, that is why that is. Um, you may see TV hosts or other people on, uh, in media wearing purple or just people in general. And that's a really good way to show visibly um, that we're all standing in solidarity. Bullying of any kind should not be happening. I'm going to I use a timer. So if you guys hear beeping, that's what that is. I will be working on the L. And I have my plastic pulled down a little bit. It's not fully up because 
this takes up most of my desk and I can't really reach over there that well. So anyway, um, let me grab my pen. I have been using this gorgeous unicorn poop pen from Lazy River and I will put this down below as well. Um, he does pen drops and he is on Instagram. Uh, if you have not checked him out, make sure you do so. He actually started turning pens for his wife, who is a diamond painter. And both of them are on Instagram. And they are both lovely, lovely people. I absolutely adore both of them. So, bullying in general. Let's talk about this. This isn't necessarily going to be, uh, the most coherent of, uh, whip and chats. If you've ever been to, I call them Paint With Me Lives on Instagram, and that's solely because even though it is a whip and chat, which if you don't know what a whip and chat, let me rewind. A whip and chat, whip stands for work in progress, and it's where you work on things together. I work on my canvas, you work on whatever your project is, doesn't have to be diamond painting, and I chat. Or if it's somebody else, they chat. Um, it's often a really good thing to play in the background so a lot of people don't necessarily watch what's going on which you know you totally can you don't have to um but you just kind of stream it and you work alongside for me when I listen to other people's whip and chats it makes me feel like I'm not alone and that I'm I'm, I'm hanging out with a friend we're a group of friends but I do call them paint with me is on Instagram because even though I'm the one hosting it and I'm the one rambling on, which if you're here for the rambles, let me know. But I am engaging directly with you guys. So for me, this is much, much more difficult for me to actually sit here by myself in a room. I may or may not have my husband in the room when I record. Uh, currently, he is not in the room, but that's not to say he won't show up. Um, and of course... I need to replace the wax. As you guys can see, I'm totally together. <laughs> but I love doing the paint with me's, and I do them very frequently on Instagram. So if you guys haven't hopped in and you think that's something you may like, come on by. Um, I am using the Super Sticky from Patty Wax. Distracted by Diamonds. Um... And I will do my best to link her shop down below. Uh, if you've never shopped from Patty Wax, Distracted by Diamonds, um, she does restock twice daily. And it, all the information is on her website. Uh, but if you go and you see it's completely blank, don't just think that they don't have anything. They've just sold out until the next restock. She only uploads, her and her husband, her name's Robin, she only uploads uh, small quantities because it is a one-man, one-woman show. So anyway, I don't even remember what we were talking about. So this is going swimmingly well. <laughs> well, if you haven't seen the announcement video, oh, we were going to talk about bullying. I'll get to that. If you haven't seen the announcement video, um, I've got a new event that I'm going to be hosting starting on January 1st. And I would love for you all to join me. I will link that video in the eye if I can. Um, I am pretty new at all of this. I mean, I think you guys can figure that out. I love to go on and on and on and on and on. But I'm not super great on the tech side of things, so I'm trying my best, and uh, hopefully it's good enough. So that will be coming in January, and I will provide more information as it unfolds, but the long, the short of it is it is a Alice in Wonderland diamond painting event. Do you guys hear that snapping sound? from the patty wags. So satisfying. And, um, I have already had two people offer 
to help out in terms of prizes. So we'll just see where it goes. I don't want to make big, bold statements and announcements and then three people are participating. So just stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. So bullying. Let's get back to that. If you are somebody who doesn't like what I have to say, I'm, I'm surprised that you're watching this in general. Um, but every person, child, adult, in between, has something going on in their lives that you may or may not know about. It's so much easier... The phrase, you win more with honey, you win more flies with honey. I totally just butchered that. Whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, and, and if you don't, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, you guys, this whipping chat is a mess. I hope that you're loving it. Make sure you're while you guys are here. You leave me some fun in the notes. Tell me, what's your, your favorite... Uh, What's your favorite soda? So, we always were taught as kids that if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. And I think we've gotten to a point in society, as, as a general, where people don't really follow that golden rule anymore. Um, it doesn't really matter if you are... Uh, another content creator, or if you're another diamond painter, or if you're a parent or not a parent, whatever it may be, there doesn't need to be competition in it. And I've said this before, and I will continue to say it until I am blue in the face. Um, we are better together to lift each other up than we are to tear each other down. There is, as my husband would say, enough food for all of us to eat. Me having this little corner of the internet doesn't take away from your little corner of the internet. And we can, can, we can, you know, be in each other's spaces, but it doesn't have to be a negative thing. So that being said, after you watch this, do one random act of kindness doesn't have to be to a stranger because if you're watching this in present time, we are living through a pandemic. If you're watching this in the future, woohoo, hopefully we made it. Um, compliment somebody. Compliment somebody's artwork. Compliment somebody's eyes. Compliment that outfit you love. Let somebody know, hey, I love that you have the guts to do X, Y, and Z. I've always wanted to be like that. Let them know whatever it is that you admire about them. And when you do something in terms of compliments, make sure it is a compliment. For example, I love your shirt, but those are the worst pants to pair with it. it is not a compliment. Just stop at, I like your shirt. This world needs more people who are going to be happy and not necessarily happy, but who are going to be kind. I'm going to actually pull that up a little bit. And you can be kind and it doesn't take away anything from yourself. Um, this is a minder from Kim's Needle Minder. If I remember, I will try to link her down below. Um, I've had a few people say to me, you don't really use minder as much. And I don't, but... Oh, sorry, the crunching. I'm trying to get off camera, trying to get my plastic to stay up in the right location. Um, which I'm not even sure if that's in frame. <sighs> it's that kind of day, you guys. You don't have to be in a happy space to be kind to others. You should always be kindest to yourself, first and foremost. Um, if you are struggling 
with whatever it is you're struggling with, know that it's okay to be okay. Or to not be okay, I mean. It's also okay to be okay. And if you're having a terrible day, week, month, year, whatever time of measurement you want to use, you can make yourself feel better by being kind to someone else. Now, this is not me giving out medical advice saying, hey, you're going to cure your depression or anxiety by simply complimenting your neighbor. But we've gotten to this weird space where people think, if I tell you how awful you are, your personality, your looks, your artwork, your content, that it's going to make me feel better about myself. And I'm here to tell you that's not at all the case. As I just popped a couple drills onto my canvas. Will telling your neighbor that she's got great shoes brighten your day? Maybe. Maybe not. But will telling your neighbor that you think that the way she walks is stupid make you feel better about yourself? No, not at all. And I just want to make sure that we're all in a place, no matter what's going on in our lives, that we recognize that no matter how good you are or aren't. And remember, it's okay to not be okay. That we're trying to remain positive with those around us. It's really hard. And I know it's so much easier said than done. But if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I am constantly sharing people's works. Do I want them to do it in return? No. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Nobody would be opposed to it. But I do it because I like to show off things that make me happy. Things that brighten my day. Things that brought a smile to myself. You worked on a canvas and it was huge and look how dope it looks. Guess what? I'm going to share it. You're somebody who's been super supportive of me and you've worked really hard on this canvas. Guess what? I'm going to show it. Have I shown people's artwork who I've never communicated with? Absolutely. Um, and sometimes that's a really great way to open the door. If you admire somebody's work, you know, perhaps they'll send you a message and say, thank you for sharing that. Nothing I'm saying is a guarantee either. So don't think that because I'm saying this. Oh, there's the tiny human um, that, you know, I'm standing here and saying that what I'm saying is, is fact and it's the only thing. But I do know that if we just lift each other up and it doesn't have to just be about diamond painting, you guys, if your friend posted a really beautiful family photo, do you tell her that she has a beautiful family? If you've ever been the recipient of those kinds of posts, it, it warms your heart and it makes you feel really good. And let me tell you, when you're having one of those days where everything just seems to be falling apart, it feels like... Oh, I forgot to hit the timer again. Um, well, I'll start it back up. <laughs> it's very official with the timer, you guys. Um, it can warm your day. I've had those days where I'm just having like the worst day or I'm having a really hard day as a parent and then somebody will give me a little compliment or a little glimmer of love and support and hope and it can change my entire mood and like I said I'm not a doctor and I'm not saying this is going to cure everything but I am saying that you have the ability to brighten someone's day so when you're done watching this video Spread that love. Spread that joy. Compliment somebody. Share somebody else's work that you didn't complete. Give them the credit for it. Tell somebody that you love that item of clothing or whatever it is that you may be enjoying. And see how that makes you feel. And that is all I'm going to say about that. So, 
on a totally different note, I did mention that we are waiting for a call from the GI doctor. Um, my daughter, if you have followed along elsewhere, and I can't remember if I've, I've talked about it on the channel or not yet, but um, she was born with, it is an airway disorder, and it is called laryngomalacia. And if you've never heard of it, you're probably like, wait, that sounds really complicated. Say it again. It's Lorengo Malaysia. And it just means that she was born with a narrow airway. Um, so for me, I am petrified of her contracting the coronavirus. Now, I'm not here to talk about that. And this is not... A, say, a space where I want people telling me their thoughts on the virus, whether they believe in it or don't. Um, it's not really what I'm here to be discussing. What I am here to talk about is what's going on in my life and my world. And for me, that involves a child who does have medical complexities. And nothing I say here is because I'm trying to garner sympathy or anything like that. My husband and I um, were both really big advocates and we both volunteer for a nonprofit called Coping with Lorango Malaysia, Coping with LM. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will see I will often post about things. I do have, uh, what's it called? The hashtag airway advocate in my, my profile. And I very much am that. And along with the LM, she's got a couple other little things going on. She, a lot of kids who have Malaysia and you can have Lorengo Malaysia, Tracheo Malaysia, Pharyngo Malaysia, and Bronco Malaysia. And it's just the different Parts of the airway from the top all the way into the lungs. The larynx is at the top. That would be Lorengo Malaysia. That is what she has. And that is confirmed using a scope in an ENT's office. And they just go in there and they look at her, her airway and they can see that it is uh, an epiglottis. And that it's narrowed. Anyway, alongside with Lorengo Malaysia, a lot of these kids also deal with reflux issues. And if you can imagine, if you're having difficulty with being able to breathe, having an irritated esophagus from reflux, well, one exacerbates the other. So she has been undergoing treatments and medications for reflux since she was, I think, three months old. She is now almost three. And... For some people, their kids outgrow it and they have no problem by the time they're a few months old. For us, that's not the case. And we are working on a plan. They would like to do an upper GI scan where they have to sedate her and put her under and they look at the upper GI. Um, but because of the coronavirus, they don't want to do it over the winter or the fall because of flu and RSV. And uh, I appreciate that, you know. But we are just shelling out money every single month for reflux medication that you or I could go buy over the counter. And it costs a fraction. And when I, when I say an arm and a leg for reflux medication. If you go to the store and you buy Prevacid, you're not spending that much. Um, for us, it is, we have a manufacturer's coupon that brings us down to about $80 a month for Prevacid. And that is because she is a child, a small child, uh, she is a toddler, so she's still a baby, if you will. And she can't take pills. And to dissolve a pill would not give her the right ratio. On top of that, she also takes omeprazole, which is Prilosec. And that is another $40 for about a three-week prescription. Both of these are compound medications. 
One of them has a very short shelf life, so it can't stay good. Like if you decide you're going to stretch it out and work on weaning, you, you can't use the same bottle for two months. Um, which, in case anyone is going to ask me or offer advice on that, we have tried to wean many, many times. And... I am not a doctor. I've said that before. So nothing that I'm discussing here is, you know, sound medical advice. I'm just exp expressing our family's specific story, if you will. So if you have a super weak stomach, you might want to tune out for a few minutes. Um, nothing is going to be graphic. Nothing is going to be on the screen. It's just going to be me talking about it. But it is not, it's not common, but it's not uncommon. Let's just say that. It can be a reaction when a person, doesn't have to be a child, has the reflux medication interacting with the acid in the stomach that they have, I'll use the fancy medical term for it, purple emesis. What that means is that you're, in my case, my child vomits purple. So we had an episode this morning where it happened. And we had an episode last week where it happened. <sighs> she has not spit up, thrown up, anything like that since she was like one, one and a half. Now I know what you're thinking. She's a child that has reflux. She has what's called silent reflux. So she doesn't spit up. She just has the refluxing episodes, but nothing comes up. Um, but to see the look of fear on my child's face as she knew something was about to happen and then just throw up all over me and it's purple, it's unnerving. So I'm wondering if something with her dosage may need to be adjusted. Um, for these reflux medications for children, um, and I can't speak for adults because I'm, I don't suffer from acid reflux. Like I may get heartburn from here, you know, from time to time. But she has acid all the time. Um, and for us, it's, you know, they've told us, well, don't feed her foods that, you know, irritate her. Okay, let me have my speech delayed child who can't even comprehend the idea of, mommy, I'm hungry, to let me know, mommy, that, that hurt my belly. <sighs> I wish you guys could see the eye roll that I just had. Because I've had that. I've had that said to me before. Um, so I'm just wondering if maybe the dosage isn't strong enough. Reflux medication doesn't cure reflux. It doesn't get rid of the acid. What it does is it helps neutralize it in the stomach. Um, without getting too scientific, there's two different kinds of reflux medications you have, which she's taking both kinds. Um, one is, is, is used to help lessen the amount of acid. And one is help, is used to help neutralize the acid. So in conjunction, she should be having less acid reflux episodes. So for us, we just want to make sure that if it is an issue where there is that much more acid in her stomach, is it because her medications aren't working as well as they should? So do we need to readjust the doses? So we are waiting back, but the GI doctor is in clinic today. So, chances are, I won't get a call back. So, anyway, enough boring medical talk. How is everyone else doing? I actually can't wait for the day that I don't have to deal with her reflux stuff, but who knows when that'll be. <sighs> I feel like I'm moving in slow motion. And I'm not sure, how long do you guys like your whipping chats to be? I know when I go live on Instagram, I can go for ever. <laughs> oh, look at me trying to drill on plastic. I don't even know if you guys can see that. I just realized I may be out of frame. I'm not sure what she's trying to tell us today. Um, I actually have my camera with the front facing camera up. And then my arm across it over the screen instead of underneath because then my 
this is really boring and nobody cares, but the wires would be seen and I can't do anything about that. But I need to be able to see my screen in case the doctor calls because I have all the sounds off on my phone. So, which knowing my luck, I've looked down and I just didn't notice that they called. Hopefully that's not the case. So, do you guys like working on landscapes? This is my first one. I'm actually really loving it. I got inspired after watching everybody do the chuck along. And I always said to myself, those are beautiful canvases. I have no desire to do them. But the more I saw people work on them and finish them, the more that I'm like, maybe I do want to work on one. So this is not that. This is uh, basically old Mother Hubbard who lived in a shoe. And it's by Dominic Davidson. Now, at the time that I'm recording this, I believe this painting is sold out. I will link it down below. But if you guys don't do it already, make sure you guys sign up for those email alerts from Diamond Art Club. If you want a kit, whatever the kit is, and it's out of stock, definitely sign up. Because you get an email as soon as it restocks. Um... I can't tell where my plastic is, so sorry. I keep drilling on plastic. <sighs> but this canvas is huge. It is a 105 by 70, and I'm sure there's someone out there going, that's nothing. I work on canvases that are this size by this size, and that's awesome. I appreciate that you do. This is the biggest one I've worked on, and I am really excited. All of this landscape is beautiful. Um, it's hard to tell from this angle. Maybe not. It looks better in the viewfinder. But there's a rainbow that goes across here, down below there's a mushroom and some flowers, and this is just the far left side of the canvas, which um, I will have to get you guys some good footage of how I work on this. I was asked about my recording setup and stuff like that, so that video will be coming when I don't know, but it will be coming. And if you guys have anything that you have questions about or content that you would like to see, or content you'd like to see more of, or even content you'd like to see less of, let me know down below. I don't want to make content, I've said this before, I don't want to make content that nobody wants to watch. And, um, I mean, I can tell what videos have done better than others, and what it is that people seem to enjoy. Um, over other kinds of videos. But let me know. I want to hear directly from you. Yes, queen. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I really want to sing. I don't know why. Probably because when I do the, the lives on Instagram, I have music playing in the background. But you can't do that on YouTube. You can get in trouble for that. Did you know that? If you didn't, now you do. I would like my channel to be around for, you know, at least a little, so I'm not going to purposely do something to get me in trouble. And the lulling sounds of my child babbling on the baby monitor and the fan running may not be soothing to all, but hopefully my voice is. Do, do, do. Not my singing voice, by the way, just like my regular talking voice, because I don't think anybody needs to hear me sing. But if you have, I apologize. <laughs> uh, if you can hear, my husband is telling our child for the umpteenth time to please just lay down and go to sleep. So, there's that. We have... Okay, so let me ask you guys this. For those who are parents... At what age did you take the video monitor out of their room? Because what age does it become uh, more of like invasive of their privacy versus just making sure that they're being safe? Let me know. For real. Let me know. This is a conversation my husband and I have been having and I don't know that there's, you know, the right answer, the wrong answer. I'm just trying to get a consensus here.
I mean, I am in no way, shape, or form trying to take that monitor out of her room right now because I, tried, I, ca I caught her trying to climb on the windowsill the other day. And if you guys have a daredevil child, you probably feel me on this. Or if you have a relative that has a daredevil child, or you have a sibling that's a daredevil child. Um, we converted her, her out of a crib and into a bed at like one and a half. It took one attempt of her trying to climb onto. She has an armoire right next to her bed. And it that's all it took for me to say, nope. Somewhere, these are misaligned. Ooh. Now I'm just... A little slip and slide here. I'm gonna stop. I don't know if that can give me a copyright strike. <laughs> well, that was... Interesting there. These are all sorts of crooked, but that's alright. If you guys do uh, squares... I know some people, it's not their cup of tea... But if you do a square, um, totally lost my train of thought. Using the checkerboard method definitely helps, but when everything is confetti, you don't get a lot of opportunity to do it. And I will say, if you haven't done one and you find them intimidating, don't. Um, checkerboard would be my number one suggestion, and if you are unsure of what I mean by that, I literally mean like here, like every other like a checkerboard and then you fill it in eventually uh especially if you have like a higher quality canvas the drills will push themselves into place the more you put down it will work itself out it may not be exact but don't even stress about that it'll still be a beautiful finish and some people find them to be more difficult and I think a lot of that has to do with they're really trying to make it perfect. And perfection in any capacity does not exist. Remember that. Make that as your Jerry's final thought of the day. But I love them. So drills for a square canvas are slightly smaller than drills for a round canvas. Unless you're getting it from Treasure Studios Art and then they're both the same size. And I'm sure there's other companies out there that exist, but I don't know off the top of my head. Anyway, people who do like squares like them because it gives you a more finished looking painting. Um, I don't think I need it. Well... I wasn't sure if I need the big tray, but we're going to make it work. Um, round trays, round trays, round drills give you more of a sparkly finish. So people like that for the look of it, but they are easier to place because you don't have to be exact. And, you know, it's easier to just place them side by side than to make sure they're exactly where they need to be. But... If you've never done a square and you're intimidated by it, start with something small. For me, I got a small kit off of Amazon that was Converse Shoes. And I don't remember the shop, um, but I got that because I had a really big canvas that was square that I wanted to do. And I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to be in over my head. And I did it and I loved it. Now, I am not particular... I, I won't be like, I won't buy this because it's a certain drill type, or I will only buy a certain drill type. I don't mind squares. I don't mind rounds. I think squares are my preference, but sometimes I just want a real easy round piece to work on, too, because, you know, there's a reason that people like snack size paintings. I call them palette cleansers. That's exactly what they are. Just something to get your mind refreshed and back to where you want it to be sounds like an advertisement but it's not and i have so many snack size paintings that will never see my channel because i got them before i really knew all about um licensed legally licensed artwork 
So that's pretty unfortunate, but there's a lot of places that exist out there. There's a lot of places that you can get legally licensed snack size paintings as well. But I love that when I shop with certain shops that I know this artwork has been obtained legally, that the artist is going to get paid and that um, somebody isn't going to be profiting off of something that they shouldn't be. And if you are unsure, there's lots of resources that you can ask. There's, uh, I have a Facebook group. The link for that is in, in the description box down below. Um, there's lots of other Facebook groups you can ask, or you can ask the shop directly. If it doesn't list the artist information with the painting, then it probably is not licensed. And I feel like this whip and chat is all over the place. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why you guys love me. And I appreciate that. Because when you find your people, you stick together, right? Whoop whoop. I know mommy loves me. That's what she's saying right now. You're right, kiddo. I do. She's been really on a kick of Old McDonald. So oftentimes we'll hear her in her room just singing Old McDonald. And in person singing Old McDonald. But when you ask her to sing, she doesn't want to sing. So there's that too. We are on. Coming up on 40, 40 something minutes here already. You guys, I love it. I wasn't sure I'd be able to go for too, too long because by myself I have to engage with myself and have myself be the ooh sorry be the person that holds this entire video together so if this video sucks the only person I have to blame is myself <laughs> if you guys haven't picked up on it by now I am my best audience if you can't laugh at yourself you can't expect other people to same thing goes, if you don't love yourself, you can't expect someone else to. Those are deep words. So, maybe we'll just finish up this color, which, as I'm going to say, that is probably going to be like, oh, there's like one drill left. Let's see if there's any over here. Yeah, there's a little bit more. And then we'll hop off. But if you guys like longer whipping chats, shorter whipping chats, you have no preference as long as they're here, you hate whipping chats, whatever it is, let me know down below. I don't know what is happening. I also have, I'm not grabbing it right now, but um, an old gift card or an old credit card to help place along the edge to keep things straight. Just kind of shift it. It sounds like today is going to be a no-nap day. And if you guys do wear purple for Spirit Day, I know that was like way in the beginning of the video, feel free to tag me in it. I'll share the love. Um, and speaking of sharing the love, I don't think that I have officially mentioned it in a video here yet, but I am now an affiliate with Diamond Art Club. Yay! I am really super excited about that. Um, I know a bunch of people just got accepted into the affiliate program. And I had actually applied for it before and been denied. So, not been denied. I reached out about it and they told me they were no longer accepting applicants and that the program was closed. So, for me, it was... Um, one of those moments of like, oh, okay, I guess I'll just try back later. And I did. And I was accepted. So, for any purchases for a first-time purchase. So, if you've already been purchasing from Diamond Art Club, this code is only a one-time use code for you, unfortunately. Um, maybe that will change one day in the future. Fingers crossed. But, make sure you use the code SPARKLESQUAD. And I'll pop it up on the screen. It's in the description box. 
And that will save you 15%. Now, as an affiliate, I will earn a small commission on that. So, um, if that's something that you want to support, I greatly, greatly appreciate that. Um, and if it's something that you don't, let's keep going. Then I understand that too. Um, everybody loves a discount, you know. And I, I would love for you to all be a member of the Sparkle Squad. I'm going to get t-shirts made. I'm not actually getting t-shirts made, but that would be funny. I could. I do have a t-shirt made with uh, Here for the Rambles on it. Which, if you are just stumbling across this video and you're like, what does that mean? Hopefully you understand by watching this video that I just ramble. All day. Every day. On and on and on. Now she's talking about a wipe. Um, she requested that I let her take a baby wipe up to bed. And I am not surprised that she's not sleeping. Because usually when she does, she'll fixate on that and then won't go to sleep. So, this is kind of the story of my life. Uh, one day it was a plastic banana. And she just laid on the floor with it. And just kept telling us how cute the banana was. And how much she loved it. So, that's how things go in our household. <sighs> one day it was a medicine dropper. That was fun. I'm not even sure. That lasted like one day. But with the baby wipes, she'll literally lay it down on the floor and just like pet it and curl up next to it and tell it how much she loves it. And I'm like, this is so strange, child. I mean, I'm glad you got a good imagination, but can we not fixate it, fixate on it to the point that you're not sleeping? Signed, your mom. Okay, thanks. So. Now she's talking about a movie. I'm not sure how much you guys are able to hear. Um, I guess I'll find out when I hear the playback of this video. <laughs> I usually have a notebook that I can make like quick notes in while I'm recording. But uh, I didn't put it out on my desk, so I'm going to have to watch this back in full to edit it. Oh, now she's jumping. So, on that note, I think that I'm going to end this whip and chat here so that I can try to, to, to speak some mama sense into her. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I really do appreciate each and every one of you for being here. While you guys are here, make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you hit that notification bell. I do not upload on a schedule. I operate on toddler standard time. So what you get is what I can get is what I can give. And uh, sometimes you get videos like this where you have a tiny human babbling through it the whole way. So, thumbs up, notification bell, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Obviously, we want you here. We want you to be a part of the Sparkle Squad forever and ever and ever. And here for the rambles. And anything else I can think of, you know, let's put it all here. But thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!